Good evening. My name is Bijan. Um, my proposition is uh, removing tariffs will benefit all nations. Now, what is a tariff? A tariff is a tax imposed on imports or exports um, goods. It is generally used uh, by countries um, to save domestic market from international competition. Um, but there's a tremendous amount of records and statistics that prove it to be harmful to the wealth and economy of nations. My three arguments are that imposing tariffs is an inefficient solution to saving jobs. Um, removing tariffs will create new jobs, and also free trade will increase national and annual income. Now, imposing tariffs is an inefficient solution to saving jobs. And one of the main reasons countries employ tariffs is to save domestic industries um, from foreign competition and, but, um, and the labor that the industries utilize. But the evidence shows that the cost to save these jobs is a lot more than the wage of the workers. Now, as Dr. Alan Blinder, who served as the Vice Chairman of the Federal Reserve, excuse me, makes the following statements in his article. One study in the early 1990s estimated that U.S. consumers paid $1,285,000 annually for each job in the luggage industry that was preserved by barriers to imports, a sum that greatly exceeded the average of earnings of a luggage worker. This, that same study estimated that restricting foreign imports cost $199,000 annually for each textile worker's job, and that would save $1,044,000 for each soft food number job saved and $1,376,000 for every job saved in the benzenoid chemical industry. This takes me to my second point that removing tariffs creates new jobs. Tariffs, also known as trade barriers, are intended to decrease the amount of international trade. Now, research shows that trade helps growth of the economy, trade in general. According to U.S. Trade Representative Bar Barshevsky, U.S. exports support over 12 million jobs in America, and trade-related jobs pay an average of 13 to 16 percent higher wages than do non-trade-related jobs. On the other hand, um, tariff proponents are, have a fear that removing tariffs and, and other trade barriers to foreign competition will diminish blue-collar jobs, especially in the manufacturing sector. Now, records again show that this is false. And as Dennis Froning, a former trade policy analyst in the Center for International Trade and Economics, states in his article, trading freely with America's NAFTA partners, that's Canada and Mexico, has not resulted in an aggregate loss of manufacturing jobs. Instead, since 1994, 14 million new American jobs have been created. The unemployment rate in America has fallen from 6% to 3.9% as of April of 2000. And the number of manufacturing jobs in America has remained steady employing 18.3 million people in 1994 and 18.4 million in 1999, which represents 14% of the total American workforce. And this takes me to my third point, that free trade will increase national annual income. Free trade, which is accomplished by removal of all tariffs, not only helps the economy grow, but also increases national annual income. There is a great amount of research done to prove this point, and I've chosen two examples for you today. Um, the first one is that the Institute for International Economics has calculated that moving from today's trade environment to one characterized by perfectly free trade investment would generate an additional $500 billion in annual U.S. income. That's $5,000 per household per year. Also, a University of Michigan study has concluded that reducing agriculture, manufacturing, and services trade barriers by just one-third would add $164 billion annually to U.S. economic activity, that's $1,477 per household, and that completely eliminating trade barriers would boost U.S. annual income by $497 billion. Now, I've spoken on this issue, that concludes my third one. I've spoken on this issue because it's controversial by the way that it affects the whole American uh, people, all of us, as individuals and as a nation on a day-to-day -day basis. And imposing tariffs is an inefficient solution to saving jobs. Removal of tariffs, however, will increase the number of jobs, and free trade will increase national annual income. And I've provided statistical and empirical data in support of these arguments. 
And I'll conclude my presentation with a quote from the father of modern economics, Adam Smith. Um, in his book, Wealth of Nations, he states, it is the maxim of every prudent master of a family never to attempt to make at home what it will cost him more than to buy. If a foreign country can supply us with a commodity cheaper than we ourselves can make it, better to buy it of them with some part of the produce of our own industry, employed in a rich way, which we have some advantage. All right, you've got a, a clearly stated proposition at the beginning. It's, it's still a pretty broad proposition, but uh, you're kind of taking a broad view of the subject. The secondary points are clearly laid out and signposted. That's uh, excellent. Background information, I think you could use a little bit more uh, information about what advocates uh, in favor of tariffs say, or perhaps discussing what existing tariffs are still uh, holding us back. You make reference to a couple of examples in the course of the speech, but I don't know how widespread those kinds of tariffs are and if they are still contemporary illustrations. Uh, the internal signposting on the secondary claims is really very clear and easy to follow. I thought you did an excellent job of citing the uh, sources that you're presenting. Sometimes the uh, dates were not as consistent as they might be. Um, but uh, for the most part, I think that you did a good job qualifying your authorities and giving us uh, information about where your information, where your data came from. Uh, the generalizations are all supported with uh, several pieces of information and explanations. I thought that, that you did a very good job on that. The pacing is very solid, and you have pretty good audience contact. Um, you know, I like the summary quote. Don't you know, I assume that most people will remember who Adam Smith was, but. Uh, <laughs> Maybe that little context, you know, that he's the father of modern economics from, you know, he wrote in Wealth of Nations, blah, 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 years ago. Because I can imagine somebody saying, uh, Adam, Smith. Adam Smith, didn't I see him on you know, firing uh, line last uh, night or something like that? So just a little context, that's all. All right, thank you.